You missed me. Yes, you missed me. And you missed me too very much. I have to remember how to do this. Don't look up there, look here. Hi, uh, it's a vlog. <coughs> I'm sick, this is weird. It feels like I haven't done this in ages, but I thought I would do it today because I have a very exciting day. I slept in my room downstairs to uh, wall myself off from my cats because I need to keep my, I'm allergic to cats, and I need to keep my nasal passages clear because I'm recording my new audiobook today, so. Let's go. The sunlight there was, I should have stood here maybe. I don't, I don't, I don't vlog anymore. All right, time to take a ride in the Stacy Playsmobile. No vlogging and driving, unless you're older than 40 years old. <laughs> My hand. <laughs> Uh, if you're if you're a longtime viewer, I still have my Jeep. I actually have another truck that I don't think I've mentioned <laughs> really, except for my Instagram, which is I'll just put a picture up of my baby. That's my baby, 1965. It's been a while. It's been an honestly, it's been a long time. This fall has been chaotic. I went to Brazil. My friend Wes who goes by Grizz Kid online. He guides these trips, and one of them was going to the Pantanal, and I wanted to see an ocelot, which I did, but I don't really, it was at night. It was kind of like the perfect ocelot sighting because the ocelot was quite elusive. The trip was incredible. I saw so many other animals, but unfortunately, someone in the group brought uh, COVID on the trip. Now here I was thinking, wow, I've been in a cabin for three years. It's safe to venture out. Um, no, I got, I was, I was struck down in Brazil, in the jungles of Brazil. It was maybe the worst experience of my life, which is, no, no, I can think of one worse. No, two worse, I can think of two worse. Anyway, this took a turn. Anyway, I made it through COVID. Shout out to the local guide, Sydneya, for bringing me some really good medicine. But it was a really bad, it was a severe case. I have an autoimmune disease. I don't know if that played into it. Diet, lifestyle. My cough never really went away and the doctor put me on antibiotics. My cough just kept getting worse and worse. I mean, I would I would cough until I threw up. So then I got a chest x-ray. Yeah, the I will say the back of my head has hurt for like two months. Uh, so now I'm on a different antibiotic. <coughs> and I'm also on a steroid. Kind of extreme, but desperate times. Honestly, I should have maybe told my publisher to, to push back my audio recording, but it, the, my book, which I haven't even talked about yet. <laughs> anyway, my book is not that long. It probably won't be that long of a recording session. And the medicine, I've only been on the medicine for like two days, three, three days. Two days? Two and a half. It is working. The book comes out, oh, I should know this. <laughs> so I'm the one, this is, I'm doing a terrible job. It comes out in the beginning of January, I know that. And I think I'm going on a tour Again, doing a horrible job here. I don't know if I can announce the tour yet. If I, if I can, then I'll put it here. Do I sound? I feel like I sound bad. What was I saying? Oh, well the book comes out in January and I'm probably going on a book tour and before that is the holidays. So to reschedule this would just, like we're like a week away from Thanksgiving. That would just be, probably a little chaotic. So, I'm tough, I'm gonna do it, hopefully. Now I'm going to put the camera away and watch out for moose. Bye. Hello. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Is this what people on TikTok do now? Am I supposed to show this? Way too much sugar. Your destination is on the right. Did not factor in parking when I decided to drive this truck. 
Okay, <laughs> so we're on a little bit of a, a goose chase now. The place that I have recorded this four years in a row, um, of course I haven't done it since December 2020, um, they're not here anymore. And when I call their phone number, uh, it just says that I've reached Susan, <laughs> leave a message. So uh, <laughs> I have to email my publisher now because they just really were like, oh, just like normal, go to, go to the studio. All of a sudden, something small and spotted darted in front of me. I stumbled back a few steps. Basil crouched near me and started growling a low growl. What was that? I said. Who's there? I turned around in a circle, catching glimpses of spots moving quickly around me. As I jerked my head back and forth, trying to figure out what it was, more and more spots appeared until my eyes finally focused on what it was. An ocelot. I'm done. That was so great. It's 3.30. By the time I got here, it was 10.30. So 10.30 to 3.30, it's not bad. It's a, I mean, it's a kind of a shorter book. The like, the length. I, I have a book coming out. Have I even said that? <laughs> oh, this, there's a reason I stopped vlogging. And the reason is that I'm bad at it. I look very tired. <laughs> I look very tired, but my voice, my voice held. I have a book coming out called Rescue Tales, The Treacherous Tower. Now, if you read any of my Wild Rescuers books, it's the same setting, the same characters. It's all the same, but these books are, are like just individual little rescues with one wolf. So this book, it's me and Basil in the jungle. And it's so cute and the illustrations just make me so happy because the illustrations are done by my friend Melody who I've known for like 10 years uh, and made dog art, dog art, dog craft art uh, like 10 years ago and I loved her style and kept in touch with her and I even commissioned her for a few things over the years. She did my, my very first channel banner if you remember. Do I keep vlogging the whole day? Is that, I don't know, I kinda wanna go like, I don't know, I sorta, I'm never in the city, so I kinda wanna go to like Trader Joe's or something. This is really not main channel content. But what is content? That's a whole other, that's a whole other topic. I hate content. Um, yeah, I wanna go do some fun things, so maybe I'll just like finish the vlog. You guys haven't even seen Molly yet. Molly's alive, just minus one tail. That That's a long story. It was, um, there was a cancerous lump. Actually, she got her tail cut off. It's easy to remember. She got her tail cut off on Valentine's Day. 2023. She's doing great. The tail has regrown. This is a whole, that's a whole other video too. More content. Content for days. That was, that was chaos. You don't even want to, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'm just, I'm sure people know this, but you don't even want to like stop to glance at your phone lest somebody rams you with a cart in Trader Joe's, uh, let alone my camera. I wasn't pulling my camera out. Uh, anyway, I got this really cute bag with a dinosaur. Okay, so this was an unplanned stop, but I'm here and it has to do with my book. So this is the King's English and it is the bookstore that I support, but it's also supporting me. There's a book I wanna get someone for the holidays. So this is actually perfect. What a segue, because I should tell you that if you don't live in the US, but you want my book, the King's English here is taking pre-orders and will ship them out uh, internationally. So you pay for shipping. I sign the books. I'm not sure when I sign them. I should, 
need to check when I sign the books. So if you live in the US and you want to sign a copy, or if you live outside the US, they're doing signed pre-orders, which is pretty exciting actually. Like I kind of just, I've done a couple signings here before and we just asked them if they would do this for us and they were like, sure. It's actually um, a really nice thing. So, you know, you never want to be one of those authors that like looks for your book in the bookstore and is like, I wrote that. But you kind of do, you know? You kind of do want to be that person. So, but I wasn't. Take the next ride onto Blaine Avenue. Oh, I'm going rogue. Uh, there is a pet store, and I think it's literally right around this corner. They have these cat toys that Pipsqueak is obsessed with. Oh, here they are, here they are. These little rabbits. He loves them so much. Molly loves these. I got these for Molly. And then for Pip. He just loves these. It's by a company called Goli, G-O-L-I. It's the toy that I find the most around the cabin. Okay, let's, um, I, I put in an order for some takeout, so let's eat. Is there a light here? trying to figure out a lighting scheme. I haven't eaten since breakfast because, well, I just felt bad that I got to the studio like half an hour late. We didn't stop. I, I didn't know where to go for lunch there. I'd never been to that studio. It was kind of in the middle of a industrial park. I don't think, I don't think there would have been anywhere really. But golly, I had breakfast at eight and it's now six. I'm just gonna pour it directly into the rice container. This is definitely not the kind of content I've been posting on this channel, but I haven't been posting much on this channel. I, I do want to do more episodes of Dogcraft. I'm so sorry that I haven't done more or any, by, by more I mean any. My YouTube channel is so, it's such a different landscape from, is this just my gear shift? It's just been in your way the whole, okay. Um, hi. Okay. Uh, hold, hold please. The thing I love the most in here are all the almonds and these little crispy rice noodles. Anyway, I've had a really great day, honestly. I'm gonna drive home and we're gonna go see Molly and the cats. Who's this? Who is this? Who is this puppy? Who is this puppy that knows I got her a treat? Don't mind the crazy damage from the snow year of yeah, I mean, I should have logged that. We were, we were buried. Weren't we, Molly? We were so buried. <gasps> okay, here, hey. <gasps> it's right here. This is where it is. This is where it is, puppy. 13-year-old puppy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Everyone's missed you, huh? We gotta show off the tail. So Molly's doing great. She's 13. She's honestly, literally, the light of my life. So, I live for this dog. I'll insert a picture now, I guess, of like her tail. It's, you know, you've been warned. I'm gonna post gross pictures right now. And then this is it after it had been shaved. Can you stand up? We gotta look at your tail. <sighs> there it is. <laughs> it's extra scraggly today, Molly. But like, she's totally regrown it. Like, it, the tail ends like, there's just a little tiny stub, like a corgi, right there. But th this hair is just like mulleting out, like rat tail st style. And I love her so much. I love you so much. You're pretty epic for regrowing your tail, aren't you? Yes. Oh, oh, we gotta find the spot today. We gotta find the spot. Let's find it. Here, where is it? Is it here? We gotta find it. We gotta find, oh, we found it. We found it! No, we lost it. Oh, we found it again! That's what we do, just all day. All day, this is why I don't post any content, because I just gotta find the spot. I just gotta find it. Oh, I found it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, I think you need another. I think you need one more. Yeah. Okay. 
Guess what I got you? It's your favorite. Yeah, I got a new one. You want me to throw it? You want me to throw it? He wants me to throw. Okay, here I go. Mm. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I've put on my pajamas. I look so sleepy and old. I'm gonna go. I probably haven't said everything that I'm supposed to say officially about the book, but please pre-order it if you can. If you can't afford to pre-order it, that's totally fine. It would be incredible if you would ask your librarian to order it for their library, whether that's your school library or your public library. I love the library. There's a library scene and a librarian in this book, so you can tell the librarian that if you want. That'd be really neat, so just a thought. Okay, I love you very much, and I will see you soon. Uh, but until then, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog.